Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking Chanel and I got this because I want to try something different. That's about it. Uh, it is Chanel. I'm going to try and pronounce this, pronounce this correctly. Haven't taken French since high school, so bear with me, okay? Chanel Les Eaux de Chanel Pelly Deauville Perfumed Hair and Body Shower Gel. Sorry if I butchered that. Uh, this retails for $50, and it is a shower gel that gently cleanses and scents skin with a lively aromatic scent. The reason why I wanted to... Yeah, sweetie, yeah. Uh, the reason why I wanted to try it was because it said it was a hair and shower gel. I'm like, hair? That's interesting. And normally for my body wash, I use my Coco Mademoiselle, which matches the perfume that I love so much. This is 6.8 ounces, and it the fragrance is the aromatic green and woody facets of basil complement the sparkling top notes of Sicilian Mandarin. Whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sweetie, yeah. Okay, so the inspiration 1920 Gabrielle Chanel falls under the spell of Venice. The glimmer of the Byzantine mosaics and precious gems of St. Mark's Basilica inspires the designs of her first jewelry collections between freshness and sensuality. Paris Venice evokes this legendary city that marks the boundary between East and West. So this is called Paris Venice. And this is the bottle. It is plastic, which is, of course is good for the shower because it can drop. But this was cool. You open it, you just twist it, and it opens like this, right? Yes, how cool is that? I love that. I wish my Mademoiselle did that. Okay, and when I opened it, I smelt it, and I was like, oh, that smells good. Hmm, oh, that's interesting, okay. Oh, I'm spilling it as well. <laughs> um, all right, so what do I think about it? Let's talk about it. I put it on my hair. Can you wash this with your hair? You can, and it lathers up very well. It doesn't give instructions on if it's like shampoo, conditioner. It's more shampoo-esque shampoo -esque or like to me because it did clean my hair and I didn't have to put a lot. It didn't completely dry my hair out, but there wasn't much moisture to it, if that makes sense. So it actually is not... It's not like um, $1 or $2 or $5 shampoo. Like it, it did good job cleaning my hair with one wash and it didn't mat my hair or make it super dry, but it didn't moisturize it. And as a curly head girl, you know, we need moisture. So um, that's why I wouldn't use it as a, something that I would use on my hair. Could I use it on my hair if I ran out of uh, shampoo? Yes, I can, and I would be fine. Uh, but with my Orbe, of course, my shampoo, it's really moisturizing, and I can even detangle my hair with my shampoo. Um, so, yeah, as you guys know, my baby's right here. She's having a moment. <laughs> um, now, as a body wash, the thing I like about this over my Mademoiselle, this wasn't supposed to be comparing my Mademoiselle with it, but <laughs> that's the one I use on a daily basis. This right here, the scent stays. When I get out of the shower with my Mademoiselle body wash, the scent doesn't stay. It just smells good and makes me feel good in the shower, but it doesn't actually go with me out of the shower. So I still have to put my perfume on. This stayed on my skin for a few hours. Yeah, sweetie, yeah, yeah. Um, so I really like that. However, this smells good. When I opened it, I was like, oh, that smells good. But when I put it on me, it has more of a masculine scent. I asked my husband, I was like, do I smell masculine? He goes, yeah, you smell a little masculine, but you know, it's not bad. I was like, it doesn't smell like it does in the bottle. But of course, scents smell differently on you than they do in the bottle, depending on, you know, that's just how it works. <laughs> so 
Um, I asked my husband to try it on his hair and on his body to see if, okay, is this more masculine? It smelled more feminine on him. I wish kinda what it smelled like on him, it smelled like on me because it was more feminine on him and more masculine on me, which was weird. Yeah, um, I'm not big into masculine scents on me. Um, so this isn't something that I would repurchase, but it smells good in the bottle. Um, and I like the fact that it's dual purpose. Yeah, yeah. It's dual purpose uh, and you can use it in your hair and on your body. So yeah, I don't know if I told you you get 6.8 ounces, but it's clear and very Chanel as it came in this. And gotta love a nice Chanel box, right? <laughs> gotta love that. that. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps you guys figure out if it's something that you were looking to purchase or wanted to know how it worked. Um, it's not bad, it's really not bad at all. Uh, just the scent just does not work for me. It lathers up really well. Yeah, sweetie. It lathers up really well. Um, yeah, but mainly the scent, but mainly the scent doesn't work for me. My audio just stopped, which I just now noticed. So I'm sorry the end of this video, the audio is different. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. I will see you next time. And yeah, have a great day. Bye. Yeah, sweetie. Yeah, you're doing so good for mommy. You're doing so good for mommy. Yeah.